y'all. Welcome back for another Coda Tip with me, Maria Marquis. Today, we're talking about a common point of confusion when folks are getting started with a Coda formula language. There's two concepts, this row and current value that can get kind of confused sometimes. So let's break it down. This row is all about location. I'm pulling out information from the row that I'm in. So I'm in a table, I'm using it. Current value is where am I in a sequence of events? So it's what and where and when is what we're dealing with. So let's take a look at an example. This row is why when I have maybe a summary table, I can go and I can calculate the number of completed tasks that are mapped to this row. So for example, here I'm saying, hey, look at the task table and filter where the project is equal to the one in this row location. And then I wanna calculate some elements about it. So that's the first one. Current value though, is about where are we in the sequence of events that we're running. So I'm gonna right click over here and give ourselves a little bit of space. Notice I'm using formula map here, which is allowing me to run the same formula across a list of items. And we use current value to identify what's happening in each event. So we have current value, uh, show me the products of whatever the current value in the list that I'm in is. Then if the current value contains outerwear, then I wanna count it. So I'm using that as a placeholder for the item that we're working on in that moment. So if you're a math person, which I'm not, think about that as the X in algebra. But when it comes down to it, this row is location-based, the where and current value is the when. So where am I in that sequence? So hopefully that helps in this Coda tip.